Well, now I'm up at my cattle gate that the cattle got out of the other day in the rainstorm. Let me rotate and we'll see why. Why is because I only have a bicycle lock holding things together. Wouldn't be a big deal, but uh, if it's just sitting there like that, then the wind blows and it can blow it open. In addition, when this gate was opened, it was tacoed. I've straightened it as best I could, but it, it was folded pretty solidly. Now, I have some issues here uh, that I need to resolve. One is the pipe here is bigger than the pipe there. And two, they overlap. So I bought three different kinds. See how it bangs there? Now that's good. It kept the cattle, you know, mostly in. So, but yeah, see, look, they broke my, I see right down there, they broke the weld off the, the bottom plate once they got out. So what do I have? Well, I've got a two-way livestock gate. That would be for a gate that opens both ways. And uh, it's got to have a gap to accommodate that much. So an inch and a half gap. So you can't use that. Now this was just a commercial gate for a uh, chain link fence. And I think that this will be the winner winner, right? So I don't know if that'll go around, but uh, let, me, let me see real quick. <laughs> let me see real quick. Son of a gun. Now that might work one-handed. It's got a release. So that would mount like here and just allow one way. So let me uh, let me go ahead and uh, I might need to buy some additional buffer clamps. I might need to do a little bit of additional work. But uh, let me open up this one-way gate and I'm going to do a comparison between these two. I was hoping this was wide enough. <laughs> maybe, maybe I could just beat the dog out of it and get it wider. We'll find out. Oh, a little common comment here. This, uh, I love this new F-150. It's got the generator in it. It's, it's just so, it's amazing piece of technology. But it is darn neurotic bells and beeps and transmission not engaged and door open and when i back up not only does it have the big 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 but inside the cab it goes e uh, i counted one time uh with the trailer six alerts that chimed at me it is neurotic and ford cut that crap one and done if you want to pop up emergency warnings pop, pop them up once a month uh, make me go in and consent and disengage all that alarms as a farmer i have got to hear when i'm backing up especially at night especially in the mist i well, i went to do a ue in the street here and the grass was growing up and the backup cameras detected it locked my truck locked the parking brakes left me in the middle of the street come on uh, you know text out or whoever's in charge of automobiles that is not safe you're to making manufacturers go overboard all right Back to the gate here. So we know the two-way latch isn't going to work. I'm going to put that back. It'll work somewhere else. Let me take a look at this and see how this will work. Instructions are right there. Look, it's showing how my setup is, right? That The pipe overlaps there. I'll flip all that in. <laughs> flip that. No two self. Flip that in post-production. Anyway, there we go. This, this ought to be a winner. Well, that's pretty convenient. So I would put that on the, the the gate. It would close like that. That would that would be convenient. Which means all I would need to do is uh, get some clamps. And you know what? I'm going to get muffler clamps, which would be easier for me than drilling this pipe out, maybe. And I'll just put some muffler clamps in there, and I'll drill through the muffler clamp and bolt that. That way, I can adjust that up and down as it floats winner winner chicken dinner that's what i'm after uh let me measure that and go get some muffin clamps it is a sunday so that's not gonna work and my other idea was to just have this mounted just like this and then uh, you know you pick it up and that would work too right it come down and and latch on that gate bolt up as much of this as I can. Ain't that little patch of Cosmo something nice to look at? 
really is. We've got some passion vine glowing, growing in there for the purple swallowtails. That'll be all right. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and bolt that up. Comes with some carriage bolts. I'm gonna take a little bit of squeezing. directions on that but the carriage bolt won't fit when I uh, put it with the whole end on the carriage bolt side so all I'm doing is just adjusting a little bit look at that gate run away all right hopefully last time just so the people watching this video will understand what I'm up against. Look at that. Come on now. Fine, let me beat it into shape so it'll fit a fence. Or you could have sent a quarter inch longer bolt. All right, I might like this once I get everything figured out. But I do need It'd be nice if I could weld. I'd weld a little metal plate right there for the latch to strike against. The farmer just presses on it. Well, it has to pull the gate in. I can see that. So the gate has to touch right up against there. And if that does all that, then he can do that. And the fence will roll off. All right, so I just need some, I need some wood. So I also found a special today on Mother's Day for raptors, scorpion hunters, because I got scorpions. These are hand-raised, rotate. There they are. So the rooster's the tamest, they say. That's a bit unusual. I'll get them some feed. I've got them some water right here. I'm going to leave them in the back of the truck and build them a coop tomorrow. But... Uh, Hopefully they'll all be really happy. Let me go get them some grain. We'll feed them. Well, after fiddling with this for quite a while, and seeing that I need, you know, a, a pretty good distance between the gate there to make it all latch, to me it seems like a board is the right answer. Nice board. Anything else, like if I got a uh, clamp, muffler clamp. I would still still have that couple inches of gap that I need to shore up. Let's, let's get a board. I'm happy with the board. And I'm back on the gate. So first thing I'm gonna drill a hole there. Well, maybe I I don't know. Let me let me put where the latch is, and once the latch is down, then I can adjust that. That'll be so. Let's do that. So I brought a bed rail that I can cut up for bracing. I've got some self tappers for steel. I've got the rail, and then of course some uh, tungsten carbide bits. Cut off wheel, and there's my generator. So let's uh. Let's get this bracket on there somehow. Well, last visit up to the front gate to set up the latch. I thought 45 minutes. Uh, this is my fourth trip. Probably 40 minutes a trip. It was ridiculous. Which is why I haven't put an electric fence in here. So 
solar because I know that that's a full day job or I could hire it done, I guess. Rotate. So this absolutely worked. Uh, this is a single slat strike plate. I push the thing in and you know, then I can open the gate. So really like it when it detents. You know, I know it's detented. The cattle aren't gonna get in there. The cattle have been laying up here a lot. I think it's because they know they can penetrate the gate. So this isn't a big enough in my opinion. I'm gonna run a board from here to there and then put that on and then it won't cantilever on me. Paint it all black and be done and that's what I'm gonna work on today. So let me, without further ado, go ahead and get that done. I hope this is the last time I have to do this. So first time on the pilot one, I might only had a small bit. So looky there, I'm not messing around. I, that gives me a little wiggle room. So let's get that taken care of. Final version. I'm going to cut that bolt off since it's tight. I'm going to paint everything black except the little strike here. I'll probably cut that off too down there. Make a little room for it. So those and that without cutting Texas on fire. I've had rain so I'm not under a burn ban. So let's see if we can get that done. Alright, I got some water. I've got my generator going. Cut both of those off so I can uh, paint it. Be done with it. Hopefully, I won't catch Texas on fire.
things on fire. Good deal. Shut the gate again. Okay. Time for some paint, right? This is that, uh, and this is the uh, Eastwood Rust Encapulator. I'm going to go ahead and just paint the wood and the uh, metal. Get that all touched up. Right here, right now. That feels good, everybody. gate is done. <laughs> My cattle shouldn't be able to push it open in the rain. <laughs> they should stay home. So it looks pretty good. Uh, I bought three different kinds of gate things because I knew the pipe overlapped in a weird way. It's a single gate release. That makes sense. Just a little bit of extra lumber on there. I used treated and then of course I painted it. So I'm hoping I don't have to mess with this for another 10 years. Uh, while I'm up here, I'm gonna go ahead and brush out the east wood across this uh, gate that's falling apart. These uh, ag gates, I think, are too light a way to gate for me to use it as an electric gate anyway. So eventually I'll end up replacing this gate when I do when I do a formal front gate. Uh, you know, I don't want a lot of things to call attention to, so rotate. All right, like, subscribe, follow me along. This is, was a pretty, uh, you know, it just took a lot of fumbling around. I was doing a lot of other projects, but I worked it in, and there we go. So, like, subscribe, follow me along. This is Steve, a thousand year homes. Bye.